the time response uh, for police officers to react to certain crimes, particularly property crimes, are a lot longer now. And those police and fire response times will get even longer if the legislature and the governor are forced to enact an all-cuts state budget. So I think that um, the public is beginning to see uh, the impact of all these cuts. What we have to do is be responsible about how we balance that budget in a way uh, that gets our fiscal house in order. That's why California that State Assembly state member Henry Perea and Assembly so Budget I Committee Chair Bob Blumenfield heard, uh, gathered in Fresno for a public safety summit. They wanted to hear firsthand from public safety officials and community members about how an all-cuts budget would affect neighborhoods in the Central Valley. And I think our local law enforcement leaders really uh, made the case that we need a balanced approach uh, in, in solving our budget crisis uh, to ensure that we not only uh, get the book straight, uh, but that we do it in a way that uh, does not uh, cut too deep and harm services uh, for the people that we are charged with protecting. Over the last year, we cut five of our engine companies. Perea says balanced is the key. He recognizes that there will be huge cuts coming with a half-cuts, half-tax extensions budget plan, and some services and the communities they serve will suffer. However, an all-cuts budget would be devastating to everyone, and that's why Perea wants the public to speak out about what they want. Our public should engage all of their local representatives, um, particularly their state assembly members and state senators, and ask them um, if they believe an all-cuts budget approach is the way to go or a more balanced approach uh, is, is the way to go. And however that legislator responds, they should hold their feet to the fire. This report was produced by the Speaker's Office of Member Services.